You see it? Uh, is the light on right there, Bill? Yes. Come on, guys, let's go. Two of you. Who's ever driving first in the Bowman? Come on in. Have a seat. Have a seat. My day's going great. I'm on the TSGB Golden Bear. Tie that into your shoelace down there. Just clip it in. Okay, here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Come on. Get a clip. Put your wheel to the right, 15 degrees. Turn around and look at the engine, right 15. Keep going. That way when we hit the water, we veer away from the ship is what you want. When you veer away from the ship, okay, the hook's going to go that way. Plus, if the ship takes a roll, it doesn't roll on top of you. Plus, it gets you away from the sea painter. Once we, we're going we're gonna to go down. Turn around and listen to me. Hey, psst. hey, deckhand, deckhand. Turn around and listen to me. Turn around and listen. Okay, you're going to leave this thing right through here. Okay? And you keep strain on that when this releases. That way it keeps the hook going like that. Otherwise, it's going to fly and hit him right in the head. Okay? So, we're going to whip down. When we get down to the bootstripe, I'm going to go stop. I'm going to say arm your hook. You squeeze that handle, you pull it to you. Then I'm going to top down. Okay, that's going to bring us away from the ship. When we hit the water, you're going to start the engine. Okay, and this thing is going to release right away, right? This hook? If I take your face and I go like that, I'm just getting you out of the way of the hook, okay? Gotcha, turn one. Then we're going to go out and you're going to, the, as soon as we hit the water, you start the engine. And when you're in the water and the motor's running, put your hand like that and you want to pull up parallel to the ship and relieve the strain on the sea painter, okay? Here we go, folks. Crane. Here we go. A little tight against the ship, but that's okay. Tighter is better than loose. <clears throat> okay. Okay, arm your hook. Okay, very good. We're going to hit the water. Here we go. David, turn your face. Look forward, David. Good. Okay, start your engine. You got RPMs. You're started. Okay. okay. Go ahead and uh, straighten out your wheel a little bit. Move up. As soon as you got strain off that toggle, you can release it. Keep your body weight down low. Go ahead. Move up some. Put your hand here, buddy. Here. You get better control. Okay. Pull the toggle. Come on, you can do it. There you go. Okay, zip around, turn around, the buoy's over there. I want you to go around, just do a nice broad circle, come back up on the Golden Bear, and you can practice uh, matching her speed getting up next to her, okay? Did I push that all the way? All right. You can bring this thing up on a plane some. Just watch out for the big old waves. You ever drive a boat before? Yeah, a couple times. Huh? A couple times. Okay, if you pitch me out of the boat, you fail. Make it right. Let's go back towards the ship. I want you to practice uh, getting up alongside of her. Good. Pretty good, nice sized ground swells kicked up. So now you want to get, you know, 50, 100 feet off and match the speed of the ship. She can have a big old bow wake, bow wave. You can, sometimes you can get inside of it some, but just don't panic if you kind of go over and through it, okay? So what you want to do now is you want to get up alongside the ship, practice matching her speed, and then increase RPM like 100, and just slowly creep up under control. What you want to avoid are the big gyrations of rudder, so you're not doing this, and throttle. You get more control when your hand's on the throttle than up here, okay? okay.
Don't get too close to the counter on your way up. Only because if the vessel was rolling, it would sit on you and mush you. And it'll drive you right to the bottom. But you're good. You're all good. Big old swell running. That's okay. Don't move up now. Get up to the plimsoll mark. You don't want to be playing around here because things are bad over here. Easy on the speed though. That way you can start getting used to just speeding up a little tiny bit at a time now. Okay? So a little more, you know, gentle on that throttle. Not, not huge big variations in the speed. There you go. Come on up to that plimsoll mark if you can. You're looking on the side, you can tell your speed, right? Remember, it's not instantaneous, you know, response. It just takes a few seconds. Now, this big old bow wave you got over here will all go away when he starts turning. About midway through his third turn, okay? So you're doing a nice job. Now you want to hang. Now you want to increase, say, 100 and just slowly creep up like you were going for the uh, sea painter. Yeah, you just came way out like that. Yeah, See that? Okay, yeah. yeah. Now you're in that bow wave. Don't don't freak out about that. Just very nice. When you hook up after he's got the sea painter made up. You'll start, you know, pulling back on your throttle so you come back under control. You want to put the rudder like left 15 and just leave it. And that way you'll go right into the ship and that's what you want. Okay, don't freak out about your bow wave now. Okay, don't get too much closer than you are now. Because you're kind of stuck in the trough here. Okay, a little more power, my friend. You're going to get washed away just like that. When you pull back on that throttle like that, you're losing it. You have no control. Look where we ended up. No control. Okay, that wasn't good. Luckily, we went this way and not that way. When you uh, do that, when you do that seat painter under, and then you push the line up. Don't put your arm through that bite. You know what I'm talking about? And the toggle. Yeah, you go under like that. You kind of push it up. And the toggle goes in this way. Okay, he's starting line turn three. You can get back into position, and all this bow wave here is going to start going out of, going to start dissipating a little bit here. Okay, and you can slowly work your way back over, and you'll see pretty soon, about another 60 degrees or so, something like that, you'll probably start flattening out. You see, there's the swell coming from there. Pretty soon, the ship's going to cut right in front of it, and you'll be in the lead. So it's starting now. Small gyrations of speed, not those big honking ones. Okay. You gotta go, want to get out of your bow wave now and get in. Match the speed and then increase a little bit. Let her turn another 30 degrees or so and you're probably going to be good to go. See now it just got noticeably flatter. You see that in your inside? And not crazy gyrations on your speed. You're dropping way back. You don't want to do that. Everything small gyrations. Okay. Now look right here. Starting to pick up a little bit. And you're actually gaining. So start getting a little closer to the ship so we can go pick up the seat painter. Let's go in for the seat painter now. You increase that RPMs 100, now you just wait. Give the boat time to react to you. Let's go get it. It's all flattened out nice for you now. Very nice. Now, once he's got his hand on that seat painter, you want to match the ship's speed and give him time to get it hooked up. Don't keep going ahead, though. you got to move in. Little spin, yeah, little turns. Now, not big ones. Not this. Just start getting yourself going on that.
See that 65? Don't let that 65 drop after us any. Then you're too far apart. Go ahead, hook it up. Let's go. Don't. Start dropping back now. Right, drop back under control. Put the rudder like 10 degrees left. Yeah, right about there is pretty good. And just let her sit back some. Well, you can give it, you know, you can do some of that so we get a little bit of control. Hold on, folks, that's all right. You're not feathering that at all. Okay, here we go, Bowman, turn around. Bowman, rudder to the left. Hook it in with your palms. Hook it in with your palms. There you go. Sit down. Engine off. Engine off. There we go. Thank you. Uh-huh. You could top me up with just a smidgen. Yeah, you're going to hook. Put your wheel back about right 10, right 15. Okay, rotate. Uh, where is driver rotation? Driver rotates out. You rotate in. You're here now. Are you riding with us? Come on in. We can sit right where that other person just sat. Okay. <clears throat> Turn around. When that hook releases, just keep a slight strain on that. That steadies the hook so it goes up straight. Okay? You got the wheel to the right. Listen to me so I don't have to say this three times and you kind of hear what I'm saying. You got the rudder to the right, right? About right 15, give or take. That way when you hit the water, you're going to veer away a little bit. Okay, you okay doing it? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a shot. Just listen and don't panic. Are you do you want to try it? Yeah, I'm gonna give it a Okay, then just make sure you listen. And the big thing that people do, the big mistake, they'll do this. And they'll do this as they panic. You gotta keep your cool. You'll be fine. Just listen to what I tell you. Okay? And I can always help you, but I'm gonna try to let you do as much as possible. So listen to me now, Bowman. So we got the rudder to the right. As soon as we hit the water, she's gonna veer out some. You're gonna then straighten out your engine a little bit. Once we hit the water and this, this hook's gone now, you're getting ready to release that toggle. As soon as you can pull it when there's no strain on it, pull it. But if you keep the wheel to the right and give it gas, you're going to veer off that way and the sea painter will always be under a strain. So you got to go parallel to the ship and then come up a little bit. You get the best control by having your hand like this. Don't put your hand like that. You get better control down here, I think, okay? Well, you want to veer away a little bit. You want to get away from the ship some. Um, and so... And so here's what's going to happen, okay? We're going to whip down. I'm going to get you down to buy the boot stripe down there. And I'm going to stop. I'm going to say, arm your hook. You know how to do that? No. You didn't watch the other person do it? No. You didn't watch the video? The PowerPoint's there. You squeeze it and you pull it back. That's all. Aft, aft is arm. That's right. And then I'm going to go, okay, here we go. We're going to top down. That's going to move you away. As soon as you hit the water, you're going to start the engine. Just turn the key. And then you should get some register, some RPMs right there, okay? Okay? So now the motor's running. You got right rudder. You veered away. Now you're going to straighten out a little bit. And we're going to come up some to relieve the strain on the seat painter. Once he pulls the toggle, then we're going to just leave, okay? Then we're going to come back around, and we're going to practice coming alongside, you know, staying off some distance and matching the ship's speed, speeding up a little bit, just a little bit, so you can creep up and get the sea painter and try to get you comfortable maneuvering alongside the ship in a controlled way, okay? You'll be...
turn this thing off. Do I do this? 